Hey, this is AJ for Tech Bytes, bringing you some bite sized tips to improve your tech knowledge. In this video, we're going to be talking about hard drives, or should we really say system storage? You may have heard of the terms HDD, SSD, NVMe, M.2, and more. But what do these all mean, and which is the best for you? So, let's get started. So, hard drives, or should we say computer storage, have come a long way in the last couple of decades. From very large drives with what we now consider to be a very small amount of storage, to now very small form factor memory with a large amount of storage. So what are the differences between these memory types, and what do they mean? So, most people will use the term hard drive in the place of system storage. However, for many modern computers, the term hard drive in many cases could be inaccurate. Hard drives, or hard disk drives, refer to electromechanical data storage devices, which use magnetic storage to store and retrieve digital data. The most common form factors for modern hard disk drives are 3.5-inch drives, which is primarily used for desktop computers, and 2.5-inch drives, which are primarily used for laptops, but also many desktops due to their small form factor. Many desktop, laptop, or portable drives probably standard hard disk drives, unless they're stated otherwise. Unfortunately, as hard disk drives use physical forms of data retrieval, they are often susceptible to damage. Drives that move around too much or vibrate excessively can develop damage over time, and if they're exposed to high levels of electromagnetic energy, they can be rendered completely inoperative. Unless these drives are developed specifically with long-term storage in mind, over time they can even fail down to general wear and tear. The advantage of these, however, is that as the technology is quite old and has been developed extensively over time, they're often much cheaper than their modern counterparts and can often offer much higher storage capacity than SSD or NVMe storage. SSDs or solid state drives are based on flash memory storage and don't have any physically moving parts. As they don't have any physically moving parts, they are resilient to shock and less prone to damage due to general wear and tear. Typical solid state drives use the same connection methods as hard disk drives, however they often read and write data far faster. The main downside to solid state drives is that they do have a limited amount of writes and can slow over time as they reach their write limit, meaning that for many, SSDs are not really suitable as a long-term storage option. However, most people will change or update their devices over time before they reach this limit. Another disadvantage to SSDs is that they are usually much more expensive than their hard disk drive counterparts. At the time of writing this video, we compared a 4TB Western Digital Blue hard disk drive to a 4TB Western Digital Blue SSD, and the SSD came out as more than 7 times more expensive. In fact, I tried searching on Amazon for the largest Western digital hard drive that they offered and managed to find an 18 terabyte external hard drive that still costs less than the 4 terabyte SSD. It's also worth noting that not all hard drives are created equal. As I mentioned previously, some of these drives are specifically designed and certified for long-term and RAID-based storage. These can often be much more expensive than their standard hard drive counterparts. For example, a 4TB Western Digital Red Pro Plus is more than twice the cost of a 4TB Western Digital Blue hard disk drive. If you want to learn more about NAS and RAID storage, check out the video linked in the description and also in the title card of this video. It's also worth noting that SD cards and USB drives are built on the same type of flash-based memory technology as SSDs. If you want to be able to learn more about SD cards and micro SD cards, their differences and the differences in speeds, then drop a message down in the comments, and we can look into dedicating a video on those in the future. Okay, let's start with clarifying a little bit of information. M.2 and NVMe are not the same thing, but these are names that are often used in conjunction with each other. M.2, which is formerly known as Next Generation Form Factor, or NGFF, is merely a form of expansion card that most motherboards feature a slot for, and it has replaced the older MSATA standard, and supports a wide range of sizes through its standard connector. This means that some people may use an M.2 slot for Wi-Fi or other cards. However, this is mostly used for data storage. M.2 data storage can support both the traditional SATA storage interface, 
which is no faster than using a standard 2.5 inch SSD drive. And it can also support the much faster NVMe and PCIe interface protocols. However, not all motherboard manufacturers may support the faster NVMe and PCIe interface protocols. So if you're wanting to use these faster speeds, it'd be worth checking if your motherboard will support it. NVMe, which stands for Non-Volatile Memory Express, builds upon the existing flash architecture. However, these memory forms draw power directly from the motherboard, as opposed to the existing SATA standard. Depending on the manufacturer of the drive, these memory forms can offer transfer speeds between five to six times faster than SATA-based SSDs. NVMe drives are either designed to fit directly into a PCIe slot on your motherboard, or directly into a dedicated M.2 slot, depending on the motherboard and the drive type that you're using. It's important that when you're building a computer, to establish which of these you intend to use ahead of time, as not all M.2 slots are created equal, meaning that some motherboards may not support NVMe PCIe data transfer over M.2. The last thing you want to do is buy an NVMe M.2 drive to achieve these superior drive speeds when your motherboard only supports SATA-based M.2 drives. It's also worth noting that NVMe M.2 drives can also be very expensive. For example, at the time of writing this script, we compared a two terabyte Samsung 970 Evo Plus, which is arguably one of the best NVMe M.2 drives currently on the market, to the previously mentioned four terabyte Western Digital Blue SSD, and they were close to the same price. So what have we established? If you want a large amount of storage over a potentially longer period of time, at a relatively low cost, then it's worth researching hard disk drives. And if you want the fastest speeds possible from your drives and don't require too much storage or can afford spending more on your storage drives, then look into SSDs or the faster NVMe drives. Many people, however, will often combine these storage options for their computers to achieve the storage they require whilst taking advantage of the faster speeds for their needs. For example, many people may use an SSD or NVMe M.2 drive for their operating system, system software, and even games and then they will use an SSD or hard disk drive for their larger data requirements, such as file, photo, or video storage. Here at Wantical, we can help spec a computer to suit your business's needs. Just reach out to any of our consultants to be able to find out more. Hopefully you've found this information useful. If you have, please hit the like button and consider sharing this video with your friends, family, and colleagues. Also subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified about future videos such as more of our Tech Bytes videos and our longer Techsplained videos. Until then though, see you soon.